Hey Virgo, we're going to do your yearly reading for 2021 and this is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising. It's a general reading so it's not going to resonate for every single person that comes across this video. Um, try to keep in mind that energies are transferable so um, it can resonate for you or people around you so try to be mindful when you're listening to the messages. Um, let's go ahead and look at your signifier, Virgo. Virgo energy. Justice. Very just, very balanced. Um, you have a lot of clarity and confidence. I feel like you make decisions with a lot of confidence, so this makes sense for your signifier here. Let's go ahead and look at your life path and shadow. Virgo's life path and shadow. Life path, shadow. Okay, so life path. I feel like your life path <laughs> is to surprise yourself, to go after for a lot of forbidden fruit and break your own rules and create with the uh, co-create with the universe and create things that maybe you had never even expected for yourself. Basically, to surprise yourself, I feel like is your life purpose to surprise yourself and to surprise others. I feel like you you. Try not to be tempted at all costs, um, but in general, you know, you, I feel like you just try to be just and balanced out, you know, but when you uh, loosen up a little bit, just a little bit, you really create quite, quite an abundant situation for yourself. Quite, uh, there's a lot of resources, there's a lot of new patterns being, um, being created here and there's like a flow a new flow with life and things really uh, open up for you because you know this character is in the dark which while it's good to be just and balanced I feel like when you loosen up in in another way there's a diff you know balance and uh, moderation so for your shadow we have three of earth and beyond illusion Three of Earth and Beyond Illusion for your shadow. So you might have a hard time working with others, trusting others in like business. Um, let me clarify, because it might be quite the opposite for others. I feel like you can see a lot farther than others when it comes to maybe business or spiritual matters. I think you can see a lot farther and you have a greater perspective. I don't want to say anyone's perspective is greater than anyone else's, but yours might have more value. And uh, as for your shadow, it's like stepping outside of that maybe and collaborating with others. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe... Um, I feel I, I heard not nurt, not nurturing other people's ideas. I feel like you might get a little bit too caught up in the material world sometimes. And you get you lose your grounding and then you lose your alignment sometimes and sometimes it's just good to just walk away and enjoy the silence because in the silence that's when you can hear the loudest guidance sometimes that's a hard one for me I feel like you're such a fixed sign that you get so caught up in no, but that doesn't make sense, you know? I hope this makes sense. 
because Virgo doesn't like it when it doesn't make sense. I'm going to move on to your 2021 overall. This will all make sense for the end. How about that? 2021 overall for Virgo. Overall energy. Four of Cups in reverse, Page of Earth. Yes, again, you are, I feel like, rejecting a lot of offers because you're focusing on your pentacles. You're working hard. You acknowledge the fact that hard work pays off. And you, you are trying to stay in alignment, stay diligent. You might be going after like learning new hot learning new um, abilities and, and um, th things to help your business or help your work whatever you're passionate about clarify the four of cups in reverse knight of swords you're seeing through everybody's bullcrap and you're just gonna like I don't know. You're very knowledgeable. You know a lot. You've been through a lot of lessons and you're going to cut through anybody that's going to come in with any lies or deceit or anything like that. You're just not trying to hear too much. Also, I feel like a lot of you are coming out of a time of emotional reflection and now you're charging towards communication with someone that might have hurt you. So in 2021, overall... Lots of hard work and um, um, serving yourself justice. I feel like you're, you're doing a lot of hard work and serving yourself justice and um, expressing your, yourself clearly. Intensity. Very fast action cards here. I feel like for an earth sign, Virgo, you're going to be moving quite quickly towards your justice, quite intensely towards your passions, what you, what is owed to you, what you want to work towards, and what you choose to harvest from, what you are choosing to harvest from, what seeds you choose to sow. Let's go ahead and uh, look at your abilities and strengths for 2021. Virgo, abilities and strengths, 2021. The Hierophant, you're very devoted. I feel like I said it earlier that you don't often break your own rules. You're very self-assured. You know the, you're, you're very clear, especially like about your business and your spirituality. Um, independently so and and you know what's what and that's why it's hard for you to maybe listen to outside sources so but for your abilities and strengths we have the Hierophant you're very devoted you might be dedicated to some kind of spiritual practice that is honestly bringing you more balance and structure that and it's propelling you forward in whatever you're going after in life You're getting a lot of info. You're you're getting a lot of confidence to communicate yourself and participate with others. You might, for a lot of you, devote yourself to a spiritual pra practice that enables you to work well with others more and um, communicate with others more, express yourself in a healthy way. You see how these hands, one is up and one is down like this. It's in like a, an equal give and take. So when you master your ability to express yourself, to work with others, communicate, um, exchange information on a, 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 a balanced level, it's very harmonious. And I feel like there's a lot of like fire, earth, and air. And like that stuff gets things done. I feel like if you continue on to this like very clear, very harmonious path in, in devotion and in dedication and in, in very grounded, if you continue on this path 
by the end of the year, you'll be able to manifest literally anything that you're going after right now because it's very balanced. It makes perfect sense. It's very harmonious and it flows. There's a lot of flow. Like you're flowing with your fate, the universe, hard work. And I feel like in because you're serving your self justice, things are your things are going to start turning for you faster than you ever imagined. Just don't be afraid to walk away. Walk away and um Learn from the silence if you feel like you're losing your grounding and ability to work well with others and nurture other other people's ideas. Let's look at your love, passions, and interests for 2021. Virgo, love, passions, and interests. We have the sun, patience, and the high priestess. All right side up. How about that? Your love life is going to be very... It's going to feel very warm and joyful. It's going to feel really, 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 really positive, And it's going to be the blessings that you've been waiting for. It's going to not rob you of your clarity at all. Because we have the high priestess and the sun card. So whatever is coming in in your love life, I would be patient for it. I wouldn't just take anything that comes. I would be patient for whatever sets off your intuition and your clarity. Anything that fogs up your intuition and your clarity isn't it in 2021. Because whatever gives you this is also going to be in alignment for what you are building so tirelessly and so accurately so devotedly you have so much clarity so whoever is coming in in 2021 is going to bring you even more of that and you're gonna know right away so be patient for that I wouldn't uh, you know take any substitutions this year Reevaluate what your dream love is as well because it's it might surprise you because this person is dreaming up an imaginary love and when you have an imaginary love it sets up a human it sets a human up for disappointment or sets you up for disappointment and um, uh, sets another human up for failure so be patient with others, be patient with your with relearning what you believe your true love to be, your dream love. Um, be patient with all of this because it, it's it's going to surprise you maybe, but your intuition is going to be like, are you really surprised? Because this is what I've been prepping you. Pre you know, this the universe is going to be like. This is what this is the exact blessing that that you've been wanting subconsciously or on a spiritual level for sure finance work and business virgo The rebel, you might be, again, I see the Hierophant and the Justice card and a lot of like, you know, that Temptation card. I feel like you're going in a direction that you never thought you could before, maybe because of limitations that people had put on you or um, false conditioning that people had put on you, false patterns or false belief systems and you're rebelling from that, you're gaining a lot of wisdom, and I feel like you're becoming a leader, you might be leading a lot of people, but you're, you're, build, you're creating your own healthy patterns, and this is for your, business, your work, finance, and business, and I feel like with that comes opening up the floodgates for your blessings, your 
abundance and you'll be like an innovator I feel like <laughs> you're inspiring others too and I feel like you're going to get an offer that you kind of can't refuse it'll be like an offer that you can't refuse even though you feel very content with yourself it's going to be something that you're willing to sacrifice your contentment for because it will bring you something better than contentment it'll bring you bliss abundance emotional abundance financial abundance and you know all of that juicy sauce yeah it'll balance the scales for you you'll be able to give back to your family you'll finally be able to give back to yourself um, you'll be able to give back to your community. Let's go ahead and look at your spiritual life in 2021, Virgo. You're going to be an innovator in, in, fine, in uh, work, finance, and business. An innovator and surprise the crap out of yourself. And new offers are going to come in when you do that. When you rebel against your own what self-perceived limitations. Okay. Spiritual life, 2021 for Virgo. Wow. Oh, the wind is a blowing. Oh, my goodness. The <laughs> death card and the tower for your spirit life. Let's see. Sound looks like an awakening. Not a breakdown, but a build up. Okay, so it looks like things are coming crashing down, like crashing down to an ending. Crashing down to an ending so that it can be built on a more conscious, more collective foundation. A more solid, permanent foundation. Something with more clarity, because that tower card is so foggy. And it's going to be clear of old habits, old limitations. So I, this is definitely going to be some kind of awakening that's going to propel you forward in a manner that's it's going to serve you so much justice. And you're going to feel so clear. And like it's going to be like, no matter what's served up to you, I feel like you're going to be not confused at all in 2021. There is like no confusion cards at all. Not one. Not one. Nine of Pentacles. And out of this, uh, wow, out of this awakening comes this very clear, confident consciousness. You'll be able to make clear business decisions, clear spiritual deci decisions, your life decisions. You're not going to have any doubts, you know, I mean, if everybody has doubts you know what I mean like it's not going to get in your head you know you're going to have an easier time staying in alignment because of this this burning this tearing of down of what wasn't meant to be so what is the obstacle guidance and outcome for Virgo sorry Obstacle, guidance, outcome.
the devil in reverse for your obstacle, letting go of old, um, old habits, old fears, old toxic energies, whether it be people, places, or things. So your obstacle might be, you know, I don't know what, to... this is hard. It's like, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but it's not there. It's weird. It's like you completely stop sometimes. What happens? We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Devil in reverse, and slowing down. slowing down your obstacle next year is definitely to do with like stopped progress sudden stopped progress um, and it, it robs you of your confidence and drains you of your light it might be when you you might when you encounter toxic energy do you take like a long a long break, like a long um, recovery. Is that what it is? Messenger of fire. It might take a long time to respar restart your engine, I feel like. It might take, you might have a a thing with relying on outside sources to reignite your engine that's not going to be for all of you and I'm going to be honest I got to move on from that because I'm not clear about it yet so we'll see so let's do your guidance we have temperance and ordinariness don't be afraid to walk away and step into the ordinary and some um peace peaceful action. This is still the eight of pentacles. It's the eight of rainbows. So it means still work hard, still do very basic actions, very ordinary things like, you know, paperwork for your business or just like, um, manual things. But in those like very manual things, that's when you find your, um, Kung Fu, you know, like that's how you find your flow and that's what keeps your water clear and your keeps you able to make clear, precise decisions, right? So that's your guidance for 2021 is clear your water and temper yourself in very seemingly mundane actions and actions and works. the seven of air. So gain all of the, if, if you ever feel like there's any doubts, if you ever feel like you're in doubt, which is what might you put, put you in this energy of like lack of confidence, lack of movement, you know, wanting to move away from a toxic energy, but you're just like, it, it feels like you get paralyzed by toxic energy. And then it takes like it's like hard to restart your engine. So for the guidance, it's like restart your engine in, you know, very grounded, basic works. And if you feel any kind of like doubts or feeling like you're being deceived, just do the hard work, do the research, get all the information that you need, get all of that, um, you know, that air, that, that air stuff, research, paperwork, all that stuff, get it out of the way so that you do have the confidence that you need to make a decision. And then for your outcome, we have the five of cups and we are the world. 
So you're going to be moving out of an energy where you feel like disappointed over these cups that were spilt. I feel like you, know, you put your blood, sweat, tears, and time into something that didn't turn out exactly how you wanted, and yet it did turn out exactly how you wanted. Um, financially, it turned out exactly how you wanted, but perhaps the spirit work, you know, with awakenings, with this tower and the death card and the nine, with awakenings, it can feel like it hurts because you, it feels like you shed everybody that wasn't, isn't cohesive with this new life that you've begun or whatever. And it feels very disappointed, but yet you are part of a whole new community, a whole new tribe, a whole new family, especially towards the end of 2021, you're going to feel a whole new wholeness. Um, and a whole new community. And it's going to feel like moving towards a more balanced beginning, away from self-perceived comforts, comforts that weren't actually comfortable. It was just like, you know, you were a snail that had grown grown too, too large for its shell. So for your outcome in 2021, it's actually quite amazing. <laughs> You're coming out of disappointment of pouring your blood, sweat, and tears into people, places, or things that didn't serve this new, not new identity, but this new truth of, you know, this awakening, whatever you, you'll learn out of this awakening, I can't tell you, but you'll see, I guess. You're going to feel a wholeness though, and you're going to have a lot of financial prosperity as well. Nine of swords in reverse, coming out of the doom feeling coming out of feelings of doom, coming out of feelings of being lethargic, nightmarish, up at night. When, when um, say like you're so upset and you're so in your head, your mind is like the thoughts are so loud that you can't even see out of your eyes even though they're wide open. It's like you're coming out of that and it's gonna be hard to get you back into that energy after this, after you heal from this awakening, my awakening, like after my first awakening, it was about five months before I was like done crying every day so it's like it's okay it just means you're ascending so one overall guidance card for Virgo 2021 oops 19 buffalo abundance and prayer so everything that you need is available to you through prayer and, you know, your ancestors, um, hard work, family, community, everybody, you know, you have a huge safety net around you and it's time to open up to the possibilities and tempt yourself a little bit because something is coming you have a lot of clarity and nothing can rob you of your clarity. Uh, five, inner knowing bear inner knowing i mean you've harvested so much inner knowing and so much clarity and even more is coming in even though it might feel a little bit rocky with this awakening it's just i like it for you yeah so um if anybody needs any private readings let me know i'm available and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share thank you for those who have been donating